him in the house. Yo, what's good, Crazy Nation? It's your boy, S Spirit for Crazy. You know what it is. I'm back again with another reaction. This is to the Seraphim Easy official music video. Let's get it. Let's go. By the way, if you don't like me pausing it, just don't watch it. Just don't comment on it. I don't I don't really want to hear it. But anyway, let's get it. Let's go. I'ma make videos the way I wanna make it. <laughs> I already know I'm gonna pause this a lot for Seraphim, bro. <laughs> I'm just warning people already. What a shot! Okay, Chewa. Yo, Eugene with Fred here. That looks sick. Ooh, yes, yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I wanted to fix this real quick because this looks fucking shit. The I don't know why that happened, but yo, that's sick. Oh wow, well, I'm gonna like this already. Why is this black? Ah, oh, here, sorry, this is what I'm looking for. Um, opacity, 100. All right. Yo, this is sick already. I like the beat. <laughs> Fuck off, Chaewon. Nah, this is cold. I like this flow by Eugene. That is addicting. I've noticed La Seraphim to me are one of the groups that are really mixing westernized music with k-pop and making it work like when i think about a lot of their music it's very the production is very westernized but they still hit so well with the like the korean lyrics and stuff like that to make it like they really mix k-pop and westernized music so well together they're, they're like one of the best at it. Like I think of anti-fragile, unforgiven, this, um, impurities. 
uh, like they're very westernized songs. Like the production is very westernized, but they mix it with K-pop. It's so fascinating how they're able to do that. They're one of the best at it. And it's a reason why their discography is so solid. a banger. Okay, I hear it. I hear it fully now, the western, the western sound you described. Yeah, it's very western. It's very western, but they make it work. Yo, Che Won, hold the fuck up, the Che Won thing. Yo, wow, wow, this song is so good. Looks like Che One era to me. Yo, looks like all of them. All of them stand out. All of them stand out so much in this song. Yo, Sakura! Yo, starting to st Yo, Sakura's doing shit, bro! I love this! I this makes me so happy for Sakura. Yo, I love seeing Sakura's growing as an artist. You, you can really see her. She's really growing. Yo, look at her here! Yo! This group's amazing. This group is maturing, 100%. I love, I love how Yunche has the horns. I love how Yunche has those horns. It looks so dope. That's a banger. The Seraphim. Oh, so no teaser. Okay. All right, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna say what I want to say, and then I'm gonna go back and listen to it again. Um, what do I think about the song? The song's dope. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not surprised. Like, bro, the Seraphim to me are one of those groups where they can do whatever they want. And it fucking works. They've always found a way to make good music. Like they've always found a way to do that. I've been listening. What well, I've been listening to La Seraphim since what they debuted, and I feel like La Seraphim have always been able to just make it work and just make good music. They always make good music, and they're always able to just hit you hit you where it matters you know this is interesting this song's was i expecting this type of song no but when i heard this type of song am i mad hell no i actually like this sound for the seraphim and like a lot of people like the the reason why i was bringing up the whole westernized thing i can see why they're going for that type of sound 
But yo, the way that Chewon, the way that Kazuha, the way that Eugene, the way that Sakura, Chewon, all of them, they all look amazing in this song and they all stand out, which is a massive positive. When you make music like this, you got to be able to make the whole group stand out. And they really did that in this song. I want to replay this because that was actually dope. I like that a lot. I actually really enjoyed this song. Yeah, I saw that. I was looking at the EP just now and I was like, damn. To me, why I get the westernized thing is that the it's just it just reminds me of westernized music. And I like it though. It's just that's cool. She has a she has a Tamagotchi on her. Is that Tamagotchi or is that a freaking Digimon? Oh wait, no, 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 I know what that is. That's like the old like Macca's things, the like video game things that you'd get. Yeah, 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 I remember that. Wow. There's a dice. I love that she sings that part. Honestly. Pull up and I rip it up like ballet. Like, I love it. I love that she sings that part because it makes so much sense for it to be her. That is a beautiful shot, by the way. This part was the part that shocked me the most. Hearing Yunche sing, rap, whatever the hell you want to call it, like that. I was like, oh, okay, Yunche. That's cold. The choreo? The choreo is sick for this song. Ooh. Throw your doubts aside, just say it, I'm the real one. Ooh. It's so interesting. What amazes me about the Seraphim is the Seraphim are a very good dancing group when you let them dance. And what I mean by that is if y'all ever saw the Seraphim do the run by run BTS dance like dance challenge, they fucking smashed it. Like they smashed it. And I've always felt that the Seraphim suit more like a hip-hop style pro like choreography like when they're able to actually show how good they are as dancers especially Kazuha Ka like we all know how good Kazuha is as a dancer but Eugene's a great dancer uh Chewon's a great dancer Yunche is fucking incredible like she's developed so much out of like all of them as a dancer and same as sakura she's like actually starting to show off and it's interesting like look at this like that's sick it suits them I love the beauty in this part. The like this choreo is sick. It's crazy. Yeah, I don't to make it look easy. Some of you got the weapon. 
I'm full of my daddy, but I keep it. Yes, set go, come and see me, I'm the fearless. Oi, be honest, Majo. Look at his choreo. I, like, I know we don't really talk about choreo, but yo, this choreo is sick. Shout out to the Seraphim, man. They're really doing stuff that works. I'm watching groups like the Seraphim, and I'm watching these other groups. I'm like, man, it's not even close. Like, the Seraphim, they're doing something. They're doing something. Like, they're really testing out stuff and it works and it's and it's working sorry This is so. What is this? Is this a pre release or is this a title track? This is actually a title track, right? Like, this is the title track of this EP. This is one of my favorite comebacks of them. Honestly. Like, this is probably my favorite comeback of them. Like, this is probably my favorite comeback and my favorite title track of this. Honest, honestly. It's a new era of the Seraphim, and I like it. I'm actually very curious to hear the rest of this al album EP. Like the way I'm seeing it, this is a new era of the Seraphim. That's how that's what I'm hearing from this. And if it's a new era, I'm fucking keen to see it. Because out of every group, I trust the Seraphim the most when it comes to the music that they release. Like to me, it's the Seraphim, I've, and then there's a other couple of groups that I really trust. But the Seraphim, they're one of the groups that whew, I really enjoy. Um, this was really good. This is really good, man. This is a really good song. And Chaewon's voice suits this song perfectly. They all look amazing. They all look amazing and they all ate it up. They all ate it up. I'm fucking keen. I'm keen to see what's next for the Seraphim. I'm keen to check out this EP. But yeah, that's all I gotta say. So if y'all like this, give this a thumbs up. None of that. Comment if you wanna see more. Subscribe and remember, keep living a crazy life and stay blessed. Peace. Later. Ah, whoop. Eh. <laughs> Peace.